Cancer of the pancreas is the third leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States. Now, because pancreatic tissue is just so hard to access, it's very difficult to screen for, and it often goes undetected until it is advanced. Medical specialist Emma Benson introduces us to a Utah County man who, after a grim diagnosis, is fighting for more time with his loved ones. Remember when he broke the suitcase? Yeah. <laughs> for Chris and Amy Tyler, 2023 was starting out to be a good year. We had just uh, booked our first like major family vacation. Things are going great. But then their lives took a major turn. I started to have some sporadic kind of pains um, in this in my abdomen area. At first, Chris shook it off as muscle cramps, but the pain only got worse. So went to the ER and the CT scan came back and uh, I, I had a, a mass on my pancreas. In November, Chris was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, which carries an average survival rate of three to five years. It's very, uh, very unusual and, and uh, very humbling uh, at the same time just to, you know, you know to... Uh, to realize how serious this is. Chris, an active 46-year-old, lives a healthy lifestyle and has no family history of pancreatic issues, so his doctors don't know what caused it. Cancer can come out of nowhere. Dr. Mark Lewis is the director of gastrointestinal oncology at Intermountain Health. There's other cancers that are far more common, but pancreas cancer is such a threat because it is so deadly. He says that the pancreas can be stressed by certain things like heavy alcohol use or a high fat diet. This is a systemic illness, meaning one that almost always requires chemotherapy, but also a disease that's only cured in the operating room. Chris goes in for a set of infusions every two weeks. It's a hard way to live. With the goal of shrinking his cancer enough to be able to undergo surgery. My maximum now for being able to kind of go out and, and enjoy things is a couple hours. Dr. Lewis, a survivor of pancreatic cancer himself, is optimistic that more progress will be made. I think there's very legitimate hope, more than there's ever been before. It's that hope that Chris and Amy cling to. I can't live without him. He's my everything. And keeps them going. I'm fighting for every person, my family, my wife, my kids, my parents, my in-laws. That makes it all worth it. Emma Benson, KSL 5 News. Tough story there. Emma, thank you. Doctors recommend you stay up to date on your general health screenings and know your family history. The Tyler family has a GoFundMe to help pay for Chris's medical expenses. If you'd like to donate, you can find that link on our website. It's KSLTV.com.